Hello everyone, this is Legend of Grim Grimrock, the second. Okay, so last time we actually ended up uh, at another pathway within the forest. We've done all this. We found the chest, but we couldn't really open it because we need lockpicks and we don't have any. We did find a way to a uh, catacomb or dungeon or whatever over here, but we did not uh, go in. We have this way to open and see what's on the other side and we've healed some of our injuries. So basically I looked it up, injuries can be healed either to at the uh, crystal, um, I don't really know how they're called though, uh, or with a potion. Apparently they do wear off at a certain time, but that doesn't happen too easily. It will really take a long time until that's going to happen. So. Uh, let's change this. I don't know why. I just kind of like uh, like her to have the weapon on the other hand, I guess. And we are in. Now I do see something over here. There should be pellets for guns. Don't use guns just yet. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't get the pellets. You can throw them about, I guess. Uh, that would still do something. He has like 50 of them on him. Our Minotaur really can carry stuff up. I don't see any enemies, but that doesn't mean they're not around. Probably just await us to, like, you know, uh, step like, in a, a bad way or something. Aha, there we go. We have one right ahead. This is for eating. Let's give it to her for now. Uh, there we go. So, uh, how should we go about this? I could throw a rock at him. Yeah, let's uh, go with the rack. Doesn't really seem to want to come at us, so... Um, apparently I'm only hitting like... Uh... Yeah, let's uh, go full out. Uh, I was only hitting like the, the weeds, not the plant thingy itself. Don't hear anything behind us, but that doesn't mean there's nothing there. There we go. Got the rocks back. Nothing seems to be over here. We do have this. Let's see. Oh, it's locked, so we're gonna need two set of lock picks. Okay, I'm gonna keep that in mind. I'm hoping we didn't like. Uh, uh, I suppose I don't know. Uh, go over somewhere that uh, missed a place where we had lock picks. Let's prepare the mage, just in case something bad is gonna happen. I do see another of this uh, thick branch thingy. But I can't really say I see any enemies around, which is good for the most part, I guess. Oh, I don't really see... Oh, there we go, we have an enemy right over here. Really missing him. I looked just to be sure that's nothing over there. Oh, come on! You're really gonna make me use that. Okay. The other one seems to be staying put. But I'm not gonna bother it just yet. So we could leave as well. And again, I did want my uh, rocks back. We're gonna leave for now. Let uh, the mage replenish his things, his mana, his energy. They were guarding, I suppose, that entrance. There's another one over here. This is a lot of experience, and they are static. They stay only one in one place, so it is sort of, sort of helpful, because if they don't attack, maybe they come at night, though. Hmm, that is sort of curious. That was looking like a place where you would find something. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up, I suppose. <laughs> and again, we could just dig directly. This is going to get us somewhere. Ah, shit, I didn't want to go in. Here we go. Just wanted to see if it actually goes somewhere, so apparently it does. I don't know if mobs can go through that sort of pathway or not. So except for this dude, I don't really see anything. I see a ticket over there as well. When I say ticket, I mean like a branch of a... Uh, branch? A bunch of branches. Bit days though, I don't really know. Ah, uh -huh, I know where I am now. So we're kind of back to this creature, whatever it is. Let's burn the crap out of it. 
There we go, a bit of damage there. Oh. I kind of went, uh, I kind of overkilled it a bit. I don't really know what that is. Seems to be some sort of uh, item, maybe? Oh well, who knows. There's a lot of things in this game I don't really know. I am playing like a lot of them at once and it's kind of hard <laughs> to keep track <laughs> of everything. Why do I play so many at once? Well, it's not so many, but there are a few. Try to give you guys as best um, episodes as possible, I suppose. I didn't really want to make another video on Grimrock 2. Just kind of wanted to play it for myself when I had the time. But I really enjoyed the game so far. Uh, the outdoorsy part really adds to the game, at least for me. So I kind of wanted to share that with uh, the rest of you and to get an idea. Uh, we're not going to make too many videos out of this. We're just going to try to end the place that we... Just sit about the forest, for the mo most part of it at least. Find a secret or two maybe. And then just go... Uh, I guess if nobody is going to ask for more videos, we're just gonna end them this, the mini series at that. They really don't like fire, which is great for us. Fortunately, the mage doesn't really flanish his life that easy. Ah, how do you get to this? Apparently, not this way. Apparently, not this way either. Doesn't really seem there's another way. This and this part. This only ends over here. This was locked, as I remember. Yep. Okay, I guess we are not gonna break that uh, those vines or whatever they are. I guess branches. The music is a bit. Um, I guess I could call it troublesome. I don't see anything over there. So it's just branches. I guess it was uh, set only for the decor. If I said it correctly. This way leads to another part of the forest. We don't really want to go in another part of the forest. We want to investigate this part of the forest for now. Pretty sure we're close to getting a point where we're gonna need to go into the um, dungeon part. I mean, this place over here. Or maybe this way, who knows. I haven't tried the door yet. I don't even know if it opens. So we came from here, we're gonna go this way. Hoping there's not gonna be that bad of an enemy over here. But we're not gonna be able to stand. Okay, we found some lockpicks. That's always good. But could use them like on two chests. And right now I have like no idea on which of them. So if you pull this, that opened. I wonder what else happened. Is usually if you do a good thing something bad's gonna <laughs> uh, happen as well maybe not who knows we'll see I guess seem to spawn at least by for now kind of kind of clear the creatures already already so this looks to me like a power um, jewel don sword that we already have like here now, there we go, like a power gem or a teleporter, I don't really know what's what, but I guess we're gonna find out in a sec. Okay, so we got like a, a new power gem, interesting, I suppose. Say, hear anything. What is this? Oh, a bunch of uh, trousers, finally, something better. Leather Queeras or whatever it's called, protection 4, and we already have the light armor proficiency, right? There we go. So we shouldn't have like any problems at all. This is protection 1, this is protection 4. I don't really know how to go about this because she has like no pants at all. That's protection 9 though, uh, 8, and with plus 1 would be 9. Be really protected. I guess we should give it to her. I mean, Elena. Uh, she she is in the front row as well. Right now she's even more protected than him. And he has more life. So this is the way we should go about it. Pretty sure everybody has like at least two protection. Yeah, there we go. We're sitting rather well. 
Well, I like what they did with the weapons. Uh, not that button. Um, they made it based on stats. I don't know how they were before because they weren't really given any tooltip or at least serious tooltip. Or if they were tooltips, I don't know about it. Doesn't seem that anything else spawned. We have a chest over here and one over here. I'm gonna go open this one up. Why? Well, it's kind of far away from the door itself, but not, not, that's not why, because it was hidden. I'm guessing it's going to have maybe more stuff in it than uh, the one that was just like in plain view. So we need to go about this way. I'm hearing something. Like a monster maybe, but I'm not seeing it. So I'm guessing it's maybe just the music. I don't think any anything spawned. I don't know if a uh, knight respawned stuff. I don't think so. But I may be wrong. Ooh, we found actually a key. Well, that kind of that's sort of interesting, if you ask me. Let's give it to this guy. Put it over here. What are these? I have like no clue whatsoever. Give this to him because I think that's a, uh, an energy potion. So, luck has it, apparently, that key is supposed to open something. Whatever that is. Let's see what it says. Gold key and that's it. Okay. And this is still armband. Protection 1, strength 1. Ooh, this is nice. There we go. You should have more damage and more protection as well. It's his uh, uh, the monitor is just like the the warrior we have as protection and evasion. So we're sitting pretty good. Okay, um, where should we go now? I guess we should go over here because this seems to be the only other way, except for the other part of the forest itself that is accessible for us right about now. The, the music is really a bit unnerving for me, I guess. It kind of makes me think we are uh, in combat. Oh, I'm, we're hearing something already. Sounds a bit weird. Seem to have any mobs directly. Ah, so it's behind the door, okay. Have a bit of bread over here. Oh yeah, I should watch their food. So the monitor is really good. The um, war, uh, the human is decent. I guess he could eat a bit, and he as well. Especially since we just uh, uh, there we go. Uh, gonna make them a bit more lighter, you know, because we're going <laughs> eat a bit of the food. I ah, get the eggs. That's that should be just fine. There we go. Doesn't have. Oh, he has something open. So you always need to. Not that button. Close the things you open inside your inventory. I don't see anything else. I don't think there's something on the ground either. Nope. Don't see any more triggers. Again, they could be, and I'm just not seeing them. Appear to have some sort of a enemy behind that door. I guess what's behind door number one, right? Not the wall. Don't bash your head against the wall. Let's see how this goes. Okay, apparently if it's something, it's not, not right over here. At least it gives us like an opportunity. Get at it. Oh shit, I don't know what that is. But it's not looking nice. Are you gonna shoot something at us? No, it's going to teleport apparently. Ah, I think that was like the dungeon master and stuff. We kinda probably got to him or found him by mistake or something like that. I don't know what that really wanted to represent, but it scared the crap out of me. Because <laughs> we're not equipped to battle a mage right now. Like, at all. Under no circumstances. Okay, that's fucking weird. There's something. Should be right over here. There we go. Something comes on the back, we're kinda screwed. Oh my god, they really do a lot of damage, don't they? But really, 
Oh, we burned them. Nice. Take another one. We're really making like a lot of damage. I don't want to use any more mana. We already have uh, this dude. We need to burn him as well. There we go. Ah, I can hit him in the back row. I don't have enough mana to go about it. Come on! Oh, shit! I didn't even see that one coming. Ah, I'm not playing this smart. Oh my god, that was hard. Gonna need to do something about that. Meaning, we're gonna need to find ourselves a crystal and revive this dude. I wasn't really paying attention, I must say that. It's sort of my fault. Uh, not sort of, I'm sure of it. It's my fault. I have some drawing daggers. Don't really use them or anything, but at least we have them. To be a scroll of shield. Scroll of shield. Some type of magic that we don't have. <laughs> okay. Go away. Guess we can break all of these. See an item over there. See any more triggers. It's not directly. How do you revive one of these? I don't think by drinking one of these. So they made like a huge amount of damage. Well, not, maybe not huge, but enough that I didn't really see it. And we have a salami. There we go, let's give it on him, because probably she, on her. <laughs> but she's probably gonna need it. We have a cap. This is sort of nice. Protection 4. Protection 1. Hmm, so she's much squishier. Has protection 3 already. I guess we could give this to the mage, because it's like better. And let's put this on her on the mage doesn't have like anything at all so at least it's going to be much more protected we don't care about the vision that much and um, it has some energy at, le at least until we actually find something better them bit of food yeah and they don't really need the food this one needs to revive so I guess I'm gonna come back this after actually I revive her cuz that's a long way to go, I'm just going to use like the entire rest uh, the rest of the clip chest to get to her to revive uh, to revive her. It's not turning back, so if we go through there, we're gonna go through there, alright. Okay. Don't see anything else directly at least. There is a torch we could pick up, maybe it opens something. I don't know for sure. Apparently there's a lot of enemies around. Should have watched life of our or a forest row um, um, warriors way much uh, better otherwise we wouldn't have been in this predicament okay that being said I guess we're gonna be back in the GFA after we revive our first our uh, human uh, warrior okay okay we're back we've uh, revived our uh, fighter um, we opened the door Basically says there is no turning back for those that don't really know where we are. We just made like the, the small uh, dungeon and apparently after we're going to pass this a manner of creepy things are going to happen. So we're not going to be able to come back except if we fall something on those lines. I do hear a lot of noises in the background so hmm. How do you actually close this thing though? Because if we're in this position. Well, I didn't really want to do that. <laughs> but apparently I did it anyways. What's this? Ooh, ooh, a potion. There we go. How is she saying? Like three of them, two of them, but he didn't really need all that much. I don't know if we actually should have dropped down or something, but we did. And the two of them are injured. Doing what? No energy regeneration, that's not good. And no energy regeneration, that's really bad. There we go. We're gonna have to use our potions. We'll make others if uh, need be. Give one to him, and I guess he can make his own. Let's see. Well, not that button. There we go. 
And how about this? There we go. We have a potion. We made it. We give it to him and we're good. For now. But I am hearing a lot of stuff. I guess it's a teleport of sorts. Ah, and everything is blocked. So this is like second level small room of sorts. I don't see any buttons over here. I don't really think we had any other way to go. Maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention. And we're back over here. Well, that's not good. Hmm, I'm probably doing something wrong. Don't really know what's all the way over there. Yes, I could just throw something away. Like maybe this because we're not really using. I don't know. Maybe this because we're really not going to use it. Yep, doesn't do anything for that. It's probably something somewhere around. Is it like that? A switch of sorts, that's probably going to... Uh, ah, there we go, we have a switch like right over here. Just did not see it. Nothing seemed to open. But, okay, so basically we just wasted a bunch of potions for nothing. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I guess you can hold the torch for now. Where does this lead? Okay. Long, creepy... Nothing's around here, though. I don't really want to open like anything. Don't, don't seem there's anything inside, but battle. Okay. What do you do? Famine. So I guess it wants weapons, some food, gold, some armor, and disease. I guess a potion. And if we give all that. This is going to open, we're going to get whatever is inside and probably a battle as well. Okay, so let's try this. So battle, he wants a weapon. We have a bunch of them that we don't really use. There you go. I hope the stick is enough. <laughs> Where was that cold and stuff? Famine, he wants food. We have a lot of that as well. Uh, I guess we put some of these inside. This was the coal, yeah, so the armor. And the last one was for potions, which we don't have that many. I'm gonna... I guess I could give him this one. Nothing else seemed to have opened though. That's good. I don't want to get whatever we set inside. Mainly because uh, potion willpower. Ooh, interesting. Any more secrets? Apparently not. We're gonna take the torch, just for the fun of it. I mean, why not, right? Let's give her to her. We have like a bunch of torches. Now let's try to get our stuff back. Oh, it did close. So if you take the stuff, it's, it will close back behind you. Uh, I know some of the doors that don't really do that. So portion of perm of uh, willpower. Permanently increase willpower by one. Ooh, this should be good on this dude. Because if I remember correctly, willpower will give... Ah, that's willpower. There we go. Energy! Okay, so we're gonna have more energy. Nice. Oh, I'm going for that one. Right click to use. There we go! 22 willpower. Nice. Okay, so we did that. What else do we have to do? Uh, we're gonna take back our stuff, I suppose. Let's see what this actually gives. Evasion 5, but strength minus 2. That's not so good. This is basically for a DPS, more, uh, for a tank more than a DPS. Spider's Cloak. Hmm. Let's actually see. How much does this one have? So evasion 2. So this is going to give like way much more evasion. But unfortunately, way less damage. Well, it's like two damage and one for the lowest. I don't know how to go about it. I'm we're gonna keep it for now. We'll see how it goes. Mm, okay, what else did we do? Let's take the potion back. Let's give it to the guy who actually lost it in the first place. 
nothing over here and a branch yeah we'll take the branch we can throw it somewhere around when, when we're going to need it I guess these crates can be thrown as well I hope at least because we're really not going to use them so this is this way this opens like something totally different I don't know if we should go that way and uh, seems to be just a small place maybe? No, actually it does branch out a bit more ammo which we don't really need we're gonna have to throw it eventually but we do get one of these which is really useful there we go no that was not the right thing uh, recipient I guess bag whatever so we have a bunch of experience this seems to be like I don't see any other triggers so no roundish one no uh, I guess uh, triangles I think there were as well it was a small uh, edge of one of the stones that you could press so nothing inside okay so then we need to move on we're really far into the episode I guess we're gonna about end it about here uh, somewhere around here yeah, let's take the gun give it to him we'll throw it somewhere on a pressure plate along the way so if we are not going to encounter any more enemies and apparently ahead we're gonna have a safe crystal um, well, with that being said, I guess if you enjoyed the clip, give it a big like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and I suppose I'll see you guys around. We're probably gonna make like another video of sorts. And ooh, what the heck is here? <laughs> Doesn't seem we were able to catch him. I really don't know though what that one is. <laughs> oh well, whatever. I guess we're gonna find him in the end. Okay, so we actually found the safe crystal. Well, as I said, if you enjoyed the clip, give it a big like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys around.